welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Stock Swish, and I'm taking a look at an HD. This is Home Depot. This is on tap tomorrow morning. What do I mean? This reports earnings tomorrow morning before the open, so I'm going to be watching it. Am I in it? No. Am I going to do it? I have no idea. <laughs> so I won't know until I see it. But I'm going to talk about this because this is a good example of a stock that's probably going to gap, okay? It's either going to gap up or gap down, and whether or not it'll be what I consider a golden gap or a good gap or a predictable gap to trade, whether it's up or down, depends on where it gaps. So the whole genius of my golden gap rating system is that I go through the analysis in the pre-market. I'm not in trades in the pre-market. I'm not trading the pre-market. I'm determining what I want to trade in the pre-market. So I will look at this in the morning. I will see where the stock price is trading at, and then I will rate it. I got plenty of time to do it, plenty of time usually takes me five minutes to rate something. If you're new, it might take you 10, 15. But it doesn't take you that long. You rate it as a bullish gap or you rate it as a bearish gap, depending on where the price is. It may be a nothing burger. It may be a nothing gap. We didn't do Apple. Apple was a nothing burger gap. Apple gap down. We didn't do anything with it. We didn't trade it the day of the earnings. Okay. This we may or we may not. Again, this is a watch. So I have this on my list of things to do for the morning, to take a look at it, to rate it and determine if I want to go long it or buy calls or if I want to short it or buy a put. I don't know until I get up and see it. Is this going to affect the market? No. No, this isn't a market stock. But again, this isn't going to go anywhere today because the earnings are tomorrow and the market feels like it's dead today too. But again, it's good to have a watch list of things to prep that you want to do. Again, if I know what I want to do out of the gate, in the morning, right out of the gate, it makes it so easy to trade. It can be done in 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes if I'm doing a day train. And if I'm doing an option, then I can play it out. And again, whether I hold it or get in and out that morning is up to the big, how big the move actually happens in something like this. But this probably, if I did an option, I probably would want to hold this thing. But again... You know, this is on my watch list, and then I get up early and I rate it. So if you come and decide you want to do my class and learn from me, this is what you'll do. You'll say, okay, HD, I'm going to look at that tomorrow. I'm going to rate it, and, and you rate it before 9.30, and, and usually before 9 a.m. You know, you could take an hour and rate things in the morning. You can get up at 7, 6 a.m. This doesn't report till a little bit later, but you have plenty of time to get ready and prepare before you trade. It's, you always need to know what you're doing before the open. I always know what I'm doing before the open. You cannot trade on the fly. Trading on the fly is terrible. And 99.9% .9 of the people that trade the market trade on the fly and they lose. I don't do that. I know what I'm doing before the open or I'm doing nothing. And that's, that's the genius of my system. I see it in the pre-market in the gap and I rate it and then I use the rating to determine where I'm going next for the day or if I'm doing a trade or if I'm doing nothing. So again, if you want to learn my method, you would learn it in the Golden Gap course. If you just want to sign up for the options newsletter, you can do that too. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Watch HD tomorrow morning. Have a good day, everyone.